I like everything about typewriters. I like that they're, to me, they're little time pieces, little pieces of history. Um, you've got an old machine, and you can't help but wonder how many people have typed on it, you know, what they've typed on, how many families have, uh, have had that in their house. The shop was originally in Cambridge. Uh, it was started in 1968 by uh, my next door neighbor. It was a family business and I came to work there in 1980. By then they were into typewriter repairs and sales. Just after I started working there was when big changes were coming to the typewriter industry and computers were just starting to show up. The um, original owner actually was one of my best friends and my mentor and a very important person in my life anyway, uh, retired in 1990. And we moved the shop from Cambridge to Arlington. Eventually I got into um, antique typewriters and found that um, people were collecting them and younger people were starting to use them. And that's, I saw very quickly that that was the direction to go in. I'm thinking that I'll probably want to do that. The clientele has changed dramatically. Um, probably half of my business uh, comes that, from people under 30 that. years old now. Nice when I'm done. Okay. Yep. Okay. Then I'll see you Monday. Okay. okay. Call first. Thank you. Right. <laughs> okay, I will. Okay. The most fun of this job, absolutely the most fun, is when a mom or a dad bring in like their 14 year old daughter or whatever and she's going to pick out her first typewriter. and. You know, she's got like a smile this wide, and you know, she sees all the typewriters and, and um, picks up this beautiful machine and just, you know, the look on their faces when they're walking out of here with that. It's just, you can't even put a price on it. It's just, it makes my day, absolutely makes my day. If you want to find out the exact date. It's really gotten busier over the last seven or eight years. Um, before then, it was very questionable. Um, there was even a period back, you know, late 90s, right around 2000 where I really thought I was going out of business. And then this whole typewriter uh, resurgence kind of, I, I could see it starting to happen. Half of my day I spend downtown doing service calls. Enough companies still have typewriters, you know, use them for, you know, forms, envelopes, labels. And that's probably the biggest source of income is from, you know, companies using typewriters. A lot of people still have Selectrics or, you know, office machines they use at home, too. A lot of people run businesses out of their homes, so I get a lot of machines that way. And that's probably my biggest source of income here. Um, but the other, the flip side of it is people using the older manual typewriters, which is very quickly catching up to that, and it's almost an even type thing right now. If you're used to typing on a computer and you go to type on a typewriter now, you're just typing. You know, there's no distractions. And you, you've got something else. It's, it's, it's 100 years old and it's going to last another 100 years. And it's what a lot of the young people are just finding out. That there's this experience, you know, um, of touch and feel and, you know, and, and, and hearing and um, that you just don't get on a computer. And I love all of that and the bell and, and everything. It, it's, it, it's a great experience and it's a great way to write.